the four squat in the rabbit's cage. Oh, turn you off. It is. <laughs> that was dad on the phone when he was teddying out. He wasn't too happy. Moons are. Hey, Moons. It's been quite dry today. Obviously, you see the light. Sun's up. And the only baler we could get is the round baler who does our silage big bales. And he's got the wrapper on the back. I think he's been doing some big bales for someone else. We're not wrapping them. We're just big baling them. See, so it's going to rain tomorrow. But if they're wrapped, they should shed a bit of a bit of water. I just thought it would be quite interesting to come down because we always miss the baling. The baling is normally when I'm milking. It's classic time. I'm going to chuck the drone up, have a look at a bit, a bit of the baling, and then we're going to have a bit more of a chat tomorrow when we're picking them up. Not going to rain until after lunch, so that's quite nice for once in my life. You can see that we've got the baler going and the combine as well is going. I think it's a TM64 New Holland combine. If that does anything for people, people like to know which kind of combine we're cracking on with. I say we, the guy that we get our straw off. We get the straw from the field and then we've got to decide whatever we do it. We don't buy how many bales it is. It's just how the crop in the ground. But we'll chat about more about the crop. We'll see the Benson's baling it. Oh. Yeah, I think he's got a little bit left. Dad wasn't impressed with the crop of straw here. Yields this year have not been good at all. So just think, the straw is the byproduct. Think about the crop on top. Got a feel for the arable farmers sometimes. Sometimes. Right, drone up, and I'll see you in the morning. Bye. My favorite place to be is right here. Not thinking about what brings me down, yeah. My favorite way to be without fear is in the now. I'm learning how. Fast like no thanks, no I'm doing just fine. One foot in another, floating, enjoying my freedom, seeing off gear. I like it better when I'm under the sun. Ooh, 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 ooh. Good morning. We are back from the day the night before that trailer's empty put all the gates there when i say we dad did it with the pallet forks and just kind of chucked them there like the ginger he is we're gonna go pick up the straw that was baled yesterday all round bales we have the chance of 10 acres of barley straw as well we're gonna try and put them in squares but yeah that's what we're gonna go do it's not raining currently but it's about to rain in about two hours so we're gonna pick them up as quickly as we can and then put them somewhere where we don't really want to put them but uh we've got nowhere else to put them at the yard. I'll show you that in two minutes. All right, let's go chase dad because he's uh, in the field with the mantu. Right. I like it better when I'm under the sun. A load of uh, straw we're not loading them too much no nope. we, we haven't reason. really got big bale trailers for straw for so round bales round yeah. bales so we're flat stacked so we're gonna put a sleeper on the back to keep it safe hi there isn't that many bales anyway so no. it doesn't matter if we only stack on one eye with a few only me and you doing it so we yes. can do it as long as we yeah. like uh, as you can see we've used our big black bales we're going to open the clamp tomorrow yes. we father that's going to be exciting so look forward to that video if that comes before or after who knows and um, we do have an idea of what we're going to do here which you'll find out in future in due time in due time we have a bit of an idea so this 
could be a real pain in the ass what we're doing, but we've got no ass to put them currently. We will let you know what's going on very, very soon. It doesn't mean net that these big males, they can shed a shower and more. There's very little waste when net wrapping. It's not good, but we might end up putting a sheet on. Uh, because we don't want to lose any score. Yeah, I wouldn't mind putting a sheet yeah. on the top of it. Yeah. We'll put a sheet on, but we could end up having to move these for X amount of reasons, couldn't we? Yes, we could end up. Yeah. It may only be a temporary measure, this, but however, we've got somewhere we can put them. In due course, you will find out. Oh, and the elephant in the room. Coming soon. We're just trying it out, making sure it's work wear approval. Uh, we couldn't find the short sleeve one, so we're on the long sleeve. Uh, we have got an idea, We, me and Dad. I don't know, we might cut the sleeves off and mum's quite good at sewing so we'll sell them with long sleeves if you want to cut the sleeves off you can do that but we're just kind of trial running and dad has worn his all last week uh, he's had to swap it because it was getting smelly but I'm trying mine on today and it's doing alright but it's so much easier with the yeah, short rolling your sleeves off the train off do you want me to drive or are you driving? I'll, I'll start these here if you want okay. what I might do as well is come in that way yeah, yeah. I can just drive forward yeah. yeah, you just want to go forward another Half yard if you yeah, want. Yeah, I'll do it in a minute. Where's your sleeper? There's one down there. Yeah, there's one back there. Oh, that's it. Yeah. You can take that one and dump it in the field. Yeah, I'll do that. Then come back here. So you unload this. I'll unload this. Okay. Alright. Yeah. That is the first one of many. Like I say, we are a big fan of the square bale, the round bale. They're alright if you do it in a building, you just roll it, roll it, roll it. But quite a lot of the times we just pick flakes up and we'll better pen up, then pick a few more flakes up. But Vegas can't be choosers. It's come in and it's not as bad as it could have been. I think, I don't know if this was the field. This is dry enough. I think this stuff or the other field, it'd been dropped for about 10 days to 14 days. So that's what dad did yesterday, fluffed it up. I didn't have a chance to video because we were doing so many other things. Oh. this field we've got 24 big bales all together so we've got two fields we've got a field over there how many acres is this field dad no idea no idea how many acres is it doesn't matter the crop is so nice it's officially poor and how many acres it is you won't want to drop the soil like this again and it's so crop for wheat to wheat is it winter wheat this I think there's more straw in the rabbit's cage. Horrendous. But better than no straw. You sparingly this year. Right, when he's done this one, I've put that trailer in there. And then I'll take this one over there. One of the thermostat was open, like it doesn't get used all the time. It doesn't get used to the running hot. It smells better now. Yeah. Man two smell a little bit warm. I think oh. we've just cleaned the engine off. A good run. Oh, he does a bit of yard work normally in the uh, summer, not really anything too strenuous. Even in winter, it just loads the feeder up and probably only takes 10 minutes quarter of an hour. Easy. Actually that's a lie. When we do we'll go across to the other farm to bed up, scrape up and stuff and that so it gets a lot more hammer in the winter than it does in the summer. Right, next load. Take it out. Just tip that trailer off and pick it in another trailer up. But at the same time, like I say, I think it's in TM64. I think that's what it is. I'd love to jump in the combine with John Kirkham at some point, or next door neighbor who sells us the straw. He's got a caravan park up the road. He wants me to do some uh, drone footage for him as well, so I need to do that. Again, prepare for some really cool shots.
it's starting to rain. Which is great. Well, I was thinking, I'm, um, I'm away this weekend, which we'll probably have gone by the time this video comes out. I was thinking, like, uh, I was going to miss the mowing and the silaging. I still do, yeah. It's going to start rain at 1, so 20 past 12, so it's doing all right. And then it's going to rain for today and tomorrow. And then it's going to be dry on Friday. And I leave on Friday, but we won't be chopping Friday. Take that for nothing. We might start mowing Saturday, Sunday, maybe. Mapes. was a long ass lunch so i have actually been away and now i am back and dad got all the straw in we had a few more bales i think 56 bales that we've put um, at the other farm ready for bedding up there and these are all the bales we've got yes they're outside that is not what we want we've got nowhere else to put them currently where things are going at the moment so how many bales we got? One, two, three, four, five, ten times. 50, 58 bales there, maybe. 64, just double there. About 64 bales there. And we got 50, we've got 100 and 110, 120 bales for the winter. And you've got to think for spring next year because we're not going to get a straw till at least June, July next year. Um, is it going to suffice for us? I have no idea at all. And the other thing is, it's a nice day today, which is great. It's sunny, it's not raining on the bales. But it's gonna rain. If one thing we know about this place, the North of England, it will rain again. Well, what we're looking at doing is eating up the second cut clamp and the sheet that's on the second cut clamp, I'm making sure I'm rolling it. And then when I've done that, I'm gonna put the sheet on top of there and then we're gonna leave it on top of there. So hopefully they don't get as wet. They will stand a bit of a shower being a round bale, but I hate bales being outside. They do ruin the outside. And this year, every little, bit of straw is going to be massively important definitely because the straw yields have been rubbish a lot of people are chopping it back into the ground and how we're going to do this year yeah sorry we only saw a little bit of the bailing a little bit of the loading um it's just one of those life just got a little bit intense for a bit but i'm back making some videos for you i would have never been away but i've been back i've been here and everywhere hopefully we'll have enough straw for 2020 21 Fingers crossed. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and uh, we'll get back to the normal videos next. See ya. Bye.